man who calls himself trans is wearing woman face no different than I would wear black face trying to be a black person. I understand. And it's, as, it's assuming an identity that isn't yours. On that specific example, I think it's the intention behind it. The intention is completely irrelevant. It's the action that we must judge, correct? Well, in, in So if somebody are... robs a bank because they're poor, they should still go to jail regardless if they're poor or rich. If somebody appropriates a womanhood identity, they could say, well, I just wanted to be happy or I just, wa I just wanted to win the NCAA championship because I, just, I wasn't able to compete against men. We should call them a cheater. So their intent, she said, he said, not she, he said on ESPN this weekend, I just wanted to be happy. Oh, I'm sure there's a lot of happy cheaters out there. That's why we have standards. I feel like you're giving a lot more malicious intent to these individuals. But it's irrelevant. They're doing something evil. It doesn't matter if they think they're doing good. Every evil force in the history of the world thinks they're doing good. My main question was sure. about the term eradicate transgenderism. Yeah, sure. so can I give you some examples? Yeah, uh, sure. we, sh we shouldn't teach it in our schools. We also shouldn't allow men to compete against women in NCAA sports. What about the people who are transgender that have converted, are currently How about transgender? This? So well, why couldn't Thomas still compete against men despite his mental delusion? Why do we have to reaccommodate all female sports for a single individual that obviously has an advantage with bone density and testosterone production. Why is it now our problem? Why does society have to reorganize and reconfigure for one very loud, obviously disturbed person? Would it be more fair to say, okay, you have a problem, so keep competing in the category that you were born to. You can still wear whatever you want, I guess, and dress and do the treatments you want, but since you're such an excellent swimmer, go swim against boys. Oh, because he's a narcissist and he used to finish 200 against boys, and when he competes against girls, he wins the championship because he's a cheat. Millions of young girls in the last couple of decades have suffered from anorexia, okay? Believing that they are overweight when in reality, they are not overweight. Emphasis on reality, because you have to always come back to reality. If an anorexic teenager goes to a doctor and says, I want liposuction, which is forcible fat removal, if the doctor administered liposuction, he would lose his license and possibly kill the patient. It's unloving for me to actually go suck the fat that doesn't exist. You're believing something that is not true. And that's exactly the same way that we should handle on the trans thing, medically and professionally.